Hey team, today we're going to talk about Fuse.js. We're going to talk about what it is and how you can use it to add basic search to your React app. I'm Colby Fayot, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. Fuse.js is a library on NPM that we can use to add lightweight search to our React app. It works by having a list of data, but then you can use some basic options to create a Fuse instance and search that data. So to get started, I use Create React App to create this list of Futurama characters. It has a bunch of metadata for each person, like their name, and it also has a little search box that we'll use to do the search. It doesn't work yet, but that's that's part of what we'll go through. Inside the app, I have a JSON file, which I have all the characters in. We have the name, company, species, and we have a thumb, which I got all this information from one of the fan wikis online. Inside the actual app, we have the characters that we're importing, but we're also listing them out using map and creating an actual HTML list where we list all the individual people. So to get started with Fuse.js, we have to actually add this. So let's yarn add Fuse.js. Once we're good, we can start back up our server. So now we can go to the top, we can say import fuse from fuse.js. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new fuse instance. So const fuse equals new fuse. We're going to pass in our characters. Next, we're going to provide some basic options like the keys where we want to search the name, the company, and the species. And if we console log that out just to see what's going on, we can see our new fuse instance, which we're going to use to get started. So now let's actually make a search. So const results equals fuse search. And let's at first search Bender. If we want to console log those results out, we can look through and see that they now have a little bit different of a structure, but we can see each item and each item represents the relevancy of that search term. So we can see that Bender matches first, but we also have a few below it. As we saw before, this is a fuzzy search. So what it's actually doing is trying to predict what you're trying to search. So maybe you misspelled it, or maybe you don't know what you're looking for. It's trying to help you do that. So if we wanna see how each of those different items scored, we can say include score to true, then inside of our results, we can open it up and we can see that our first one has a very low score, which zero means it's a perfect match and one means that it's not a match at all. So we can see that point two means that they're very confident that that first result is for Bender, where they're not very confident at all for the other ones. So now that we have those results, let's actually use them. So const character results, let's say equals to results and let's map through that in each result. And we're going to have result item. Then we can take that results, that character results. We can change our characters here. And if we look at the page, we can see that it's only showing those results for Bender. Now our goal here is to be able to use the search input. So how can we actually use that to update that search query? For this, we're gonna use the React's use state hook. So import use state from React. And then we're gonna say const query and set query is equal to use state. And let's set an empty string as the default state. Then when we go back down to our input, we can set that value to that query. Now so that we can actually update that, we want to say on change. Let's call it handle on search. Now let's actually define that function. So let's call it function, paste that word. So I'm gonna destructure the event here to current target, the default of empty object. Then we're gonna get that value from the current target. And we're gonna say set query to that value. And then finally, we want to take that query and we want to update that view search instance to use that query. And if we look at the page, we notice that it's empty. But if we search for Bender, we can see those results again. And if you notice, each time we change the letter, it's going to have different results. Now, the reason why it's empty is because we're passing in an empty string. And by default, Fuse just gives no results if it doesn't find it. So we can fix that. So what we'll do is we'll just check if a query exists on this character result. So if the query exists, we're going to actually search for those results. Otherwise, we're going to just pass in our original characters array. And with that, we see all of our results. But if we want to make a different search like Bender, or if we want to search for fry, we can see that the results update in real time to our new search query. Now, if you noticed earlier, we not only passed in the name, but we also passed in the company and the species. That means if we want to search for any specific species or company, we can do that. Such if we want to search for a robot, we can see Bender, or Decapodian, we see our friend Zoidware at the top. Additionally, with company, we can search for MomCorp, and we can see all those employees at the top, or Planet Express, where we can see all of our Planet Express friends at the top. So if you follow along with me, we used Fuse.js to add search to our React app. This is really handy when you want an easy way to provide search for your app. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.